solve a system of nonlinear equations using the TI-89. For this video and video similar to these, visit the website www.titutor.com. Let's solve the system of nonlinear equations. Our first equation is x squared minus 9x minus 1, and our second equation is negative x squared minus 11x plus 3. We'll solve this system of nonlinear equations by using the intercept method on our calculator. So first we'll enter the equations into our calculator with the y equals, and then we'll graph the equations with the graph. So I'm going to enter our y equals area, and for our first equation, I'm going to put in x squared minus 9x minus 1. And for our second equation, negative x squared minus 11x plus 3. And next I'll graph. Next we'll make the graph fit our viewing window. So I'll press F2 for zoom and I'll scroll down to the fit option and I'll press enter note that there are two points of intersection we can zoom in closer by using the zoom box. So once again, I'll press F2, which is zoom. And my first option is zoom box. This is what I want, so I'll press enter. And in order to make my box, I'll start with the bottom leftmost corner of my box. I'll press enter. I'll then go up and over to the left. making sure that both points of intersection are in our box. Next I'll hit enter. Next we'll use the intersection method to calculate the points of intersection. So for our first point I'll simply hit math I'll scroll down to number 5, which is intersection. I'll press enter. And I'll move my bullseye toward the leftmost intersection point. And notice my calculator is recognizing the first curve, so I'll simply press enter. It's recognizing the second curve, so again I'll press enter. It acts for a lower bound, so I'll simply move to the left of my point of intersection. I'll hit enter. It acts for upper bound, so I'll scroll to the right of the point of intersection. I'll press enter. And we see the first point of intersection is negative 2, comma 21. To find the second point of intersection, we'll simply repeat the process. So I'll press F5, I'm going to scroll down to number 5, and I'll press enter, and I'm simply going to move the bullseye toward the second point of intersection, and it recognizes the first curve, I'll press enter, it recognizes the second curve, I'll press enter. To set a lower bound, I'm going to set my cursor or my bullseye to the left of my intersection point. I'll press enter. For upper bound, I'll simply move my bullseye to the right of the point of intersection. I'll press enter. And we see that the second point of intersection is at 1, negative 9. Thanks for watching.